computer. And we are recording, so we're good to go. Okay, you guys, good evening. Happy Monday. It's September 16th. We are now over halfway through the month. Super exciting time. It is trip earnings, still double points. If you guys missed that, um, then we, we still have double points on our PRS through the end of the month. So it's a great time for you guys still to crush it and earn that cruise to the Bahamas. I can tell you guys from personal experience, if you've never been on one of these incentive trips, I know some of you guys are running for your very first time of earning a trip, uh, but it is so much fun. If you feel like it is just beyond out of reach, you know, that maybe, maybe you still have 30,000 points that you need to earn. You just signed up yesterday, whatever reason that is, that's okay. Just take mental notes. Of course, you want to push hard to, till the end of the month, get as many points as you possibly can, but don't feel defeated if you don't earn this one. There's always more to work towards. So I want to encourage you guys. I have seen people not earn trips and then the next year they're right there with everybody celebrating and it's that much sweeter um, when you experience it for the first time, okay? So I want to talk to you guys about the new, um, the new way that we are party, partying. So we've had a lot of Facebook Lives in our group about this. Um, I know I did one a couple of weeks ago as I was just kind of getting the hang of what Lash Affiliates really entailed. There's been a lot of different names for them. People are calling them, you know, all different things. But I really wanted to get on here and kind of share with you guys some of my own personal experience with this. Um, some of you may or may not know from my original post Last week, I had 44 affiliates that had agreed to work with me. So my family and I had already planned this vacation. We were going to be in Florida. We were at Universal Studios. Literally five days in a row, we were at the parks. But that's why I absolutely love this in our business, because I was able to work my business, but still enjoy my life. So I was working all week, but I was able to kind of like set it aside and let it go into autopilot and do its own work, then I could come back to it at night and kind of like, you know, figure out who was commenting, who was doing this and who was doing that. Now I will say, um, that was my first learning experience with these affiliate, um, this affiliate program, if you will. And I think I probably would have been a little bit more successful had I been a little bit more invested in it. Um, I wanted more than anything to learn from it, and I knew that I was going to be really busy all week, so I wasn't going in and engaging with the people as much as I probably would have had I just been focused on that, and that was the only thing, not on vacation and things like that, but I will say that each night, so each morning, I, I set aside time to kind of let my affiliates know what their post of the day was, and then each night, I just went through all of their posts and kind of like you know, bumped them back up, made a little comment. I made sure to message anybody that was showing interest, friend request them and that sort of thing. So I don't want to overwhelm anybody if you're hearing some of this information for the first time. So we'll kind of break it down. So um, if you haven't already, watch some of the videos that explain really how to book affiliates. And then you can go through, um, I don't, I don't want to be too redundant. So we won't get too far into like how to get the process going, but I want to talk more tonight about what to do once it's been done, what you guys can expect, ways that you can maximize. I know for me personally, one of my biggest questions was what should I give these people uh, if, if their link doesn't qualify? Because I'm a big believer, like if they're doing something for me, I want to give them something back. Um, Stephanie says more engagement next time I found that a larger group was hard to keep up with. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it was, it was a little bit overwhelming. You know, I was, I was nervous doing that many, but I will say of the 44 people that sent me their email address, only, only about half of those actually went through with doing anything. And then of those half, which this is kind of, statistically it makes a lot of sense when you think about like sponsoring people that's why we encourage to bring in a lot in a short amount of time and then get those few to do something so i will say of the 44 that sent me their email only about half of those 44 actually followed through after that and then of that group that i had um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eight nine twenty twenty Okay, so I had about I had about 25 that were consistently posting the things that I asked them to post. A few of those quit after like a day or two, but it wasn't, I didn't really have any negative experiences. I would say um, 
I did a big group chat and I mainly did that not because of personal preference. I honestly like to have the one-on-one -on -one conversation a lot more. I'm just not big on the idea of like throwing everybody into a chat and like, you know, hoping for the best. I like the one-on-one -on -one thing, but for me knowing my circumstance last week and what I would have time to do, I knew the chat would be best for me. And I probably had four, four people leave the chat. Um, but then when I private messaged them, they weren't rude at all. I just asked them if they changed their mind and their response was that they, they just didn't like the notifications and stuff, which I did encourage people in my chat to message me privately if they had any questions. So, so of about 44 initially that sent me their email, about 25 went through with it. And then the majority of those people posted at least two times. Um, I encouraged my affiliates to post Originally when I asked them it was five days, but then I, I kind of let them keep on going. So their links were open, you know, for obviously we have 10 days, but from the time that I gave them their link, it was a seven day period. Well, eight, I guess if you count the day. So it was Sunday to Sunday. So seven day or eight days. Um, and they started posting Sunday night and then I gave them a few more posts to carry through that weekend. And then last night we closed all of their links out. And of course, it, this always happens that, um, you know, as soon as the links were closed, people were like, oh my gosh, I have people that want to order now. So if that's the case, I let them know that even though their link was closed, if they get some more orders that I would honor giving them the free mascara, because let's be honest, I'm happy to get some new customers, right? So, um, so I will say, now don't let my statistics scare you off, you guys, because this is very trial and error. This is new for many of us, and I think it's a learning experience. It's a learning curve. And I did realize, you know, most of the parties that we have don't qualify, right? The majority of parties don't qualify, but it's more about building our network, building our brand. You guys, I was meeting people last week that had never even heard of Unique still. So it's more about gaining exposure and teaching people about who we are, what we do, what we represent, why our products are so amazing, right? Getting our name out there. And of course, building new relationships and new connections with people. And more importantly than anything, showing our hostesses just how simple this business is. I think at the end of the day, just being able to show people like, hey, if you want to do what I do, you want to make money working from home, it literally looks like this. This is the type of things we're doing. This is duplication at its finest, okay? So I have, um, I would say I got one, two, I'm trying to think. Oh, I should have written all this down. Um, I have it written down, but it's not as organized as I would like it to be. So of all of those affiliates, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them got any orders. Only one of them actually qualified. And that was because I put it in order under, <laughs> but she, I think she had like a hundred something in sales and then I needed to order a couple of mascaras or something anyway. So I just put it under the girl that was closest. Um, now I know that some people are experiencing this where they'll put everything under one link. So if I had done that, I would, I would get some rewards for that and I'd be able to distribute how I saw fit. I personally didn't want to mess with that because I had people that would order and their name was not like I had a guy order. Like I would have not known who that was. It was somebody's husband. Right. So I just preferred having the link tied to that person. So I literally created 44 separate shopping links on my back office. And then, um, but I may try it next time, you know, all under one. We'll see. I think, as I said, it's a lot of trial and error, kind of seeing what works best for you. I compare this to, um, you know, booking a party through an event or booking a party through a group. You can kind of play around with it and see. Um, yeah, one guy got with some for his girlfriend. Yeah, you're, you're totally missing out if you're not talking to some guys, right? Like, this is a great gift for the girlfriends um, or wives. And I had one girl that, like, said she had to ask permission and she was pregnant. I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> I was like, um, what? Like, your husband should be, like, bending over backwards to get you anything right now. But this is your first baby, girl. Get you some mascara. Um, but I will say this. So my system of keeping track of everything is so old school, you guys. It is nothing fancy but I'm all about duplication. I'm not that great with like high tech computer stuff. I, I know my way around a computer for my business, but 
this is literally the chart that I kept all week. Um, it is so ghetto, but it worked for me. So I just wrote down their name. I wrote down how many days we were doing. And then at the end, I had a little notes section. So anybody that showed a lot of interest, I would write their name down and be sure to kind of connect with them. Um, and then I would write down, of course, if somebody ordered from their link. But I was mainly wanting to keep track of who was posting every day. Um, Danielle made the best little tracker. Oh, Olivia, you'll have to share that in our group if, if I don't have it in there already. I saw one the other day that was really good too. Um, so yeah, some people are so much better at that kind of stuff than I am, but I will take whatever we can get. Um, but I definitely had um, really good feedback. People were really excited to help out. Um, you know, there was, there was one day where people were like, oh, I'm probably not going to sell anything. Oh, me neither. Oh, me neither. Oh, me neither. So it got a little icky, but I honestly did not even respond to that. I just kept cheering them on and letting, letting the girls in my chat know how much I appreciated them. So now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the aftermath, okay? Thank you, Danielle. You're awesome. So today I went to Walgreens and I ordered some thank you cards that I could send out to my to my affiliates, okay? So many of you guys have probably wondered this, what should I send to people if their link did not qualify? So for me, I've got, I've got about 25 people that consistently posted for me but did not qualify, but I got a good amount of sales, you know, cumulatively through their links. I definitely got some new friendships, some more exposure. So to me, that's worth its weight in gold. I love the opportunity for more advertising for my business. Yes, face mask samples can be found in your back office. I just ordered a bunch of those. Um, and then I just made these cute little thank you cards. Um, I literally found the picture on Facebook and I just made it with word swag. It says, thank you for your support, means the world. And then my name at the bottom. And the nice thing about these, because it's just card stock, is I can write whatever coupon I want on the back. So I told all of my affiliates that they would get something regardless of the outcome. So on the back, I just plan to give them, you know, 20% off of that 4D mascara or, but definitely put an expiration date on that because I want to get that sale in this month. I want to keep it fresh in their minds and I want them to try this product. Um, the majority of the people that were affiliates for me were interested in earning something for free. So why not give them an opportunity to get it at your discount, right? And it still gets your product into the hands of other people, but definitely recommend a cute little thank you card um, that you can mail out. You guys, this is so simple right here. It's not going to cost a lot with postage. You can put the coupon, you can put the little mask sample in the envelope. It'll all fit in there and you'll just pay normal postage, okay? So you don't have to pay extra for the weight or anything. Um, yes, you can send the mask sample in an envelope. So mask sample, a little thank you card, and you're good to go. You guys, it's like, what, 46? What's the cost of postage anymore? 46 cents or something. So super cheap. But you can also, um, you know, I had a few people that I felt like went, you know, a little bit more above and beyond. They actually got some sales. Um, they weren't just copy and pasting, you know. Um, and for those people, I, I might make up like a cute little goodie bag. So if you're not familiar already with Shop Miss A, I went on there today. I spent like 80 bucks, you guys, but totally fine with me because, again, it's $80 on advertising. In my opinion, it's worth it. I bought some like little beauty blenders and, and uh, little cute headbands that I figured I would throw in there for the people that did a little bit more. Yeah, 52 cents, Lena. Thank you so much. I never know what postage costs anymore, I swear. So um, with all of that being said, does anybody have any specific questions? Um, I think the biggest thing with this is staying organized um, and to keep on doing it. Uh, I've seen so many posts from people that their first round of affiliates were probably kind of similar to mine. You guys, I was like, oh my gosh, I started out with 44 and I got what, like, I mean, eight sales or something like that seems kind of low, but at the same time, uh, it was my very first time doing it. So I'm excited for my next round because I can kind of take what I learned from that, see what works, what doesn't. Um, I did find that people aren't typically as warm with me as my own network, right? The people that are commenting on my posts when I message them, they're usually more receptive to my messages, but my, my affiliates people weren't quite as open to talking to me. Like they would respond, but it, it wasn't quite the same feel. But the good news with that and where I want you guys to be encouraged is you're just starting a relationship with these people. 
So if you do get them to accept your friend request, work on building a relationship with them. And that's where the organization is gonna come in handy, you guys, you wanna write down their name. I had a ton of people that were interested that didn't actually purchase. And I have a feeling it's because of the shipping, right? 550, I didn't do any special shipping promos or anything like that, but I do plan on going back in after the fact, anybody that expressed interest now I can reach out and say hey you know what I just thought of you I know you didn't get a chance to order but I'm actually putting in a bulk order and I'm gonna save my customers the shipping fee would you be interested in getting in on this and then oh my gosh yeah I'd love to try it I just never pay 550 you guys I am that way I do not want to pay shipping for anything so I guarantee the majority of people that said they were interested that didn't actually go through with the order were either one forgetful Two, confused by our website, because our website can be a little bit confusing if you've never been on it before. Or number three, they just didn't want to pay that $5.50 on top of their $29 mascara. So if you can give them a chance to save five bucks, they're more than likely to try it, okay? Um, yes, exactly, the free, yes. So um, cheap earring sets on Amazon, Alicia said. Yes, Alicia, that's good. I actually have a ton of earrings from Amazon that I got for like, 12 bucks for like 12 or 14 of them. So that's a good, cute little gift too. How do you coach hostesses who share a million things a day and your mascara posts getting lost in the memes? Uh, okay, yeah, we'll cover that. Um, so, and then that kind of has to do with what Lena said too, that they're going through the motions. So I posted something a few days ago about looking for quality affiliates, okay? So I want you guys to think about this in context in terms of who you would want to join your team versus who's going to sign up and be a kidnapper or join the witness protection program. Okay. So if you, cause we all know that people do it, right? Oh, I want to be a black status. And then they literally never do anything. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about looking for prospects. What types of qualities are you looking for? Do you want somebody that shares a hundred million memes a day? Do you want somebody that literally their page is just a jumble bumble of everything? Do you want somebody who hasn't posted on Facebook in like a year, right? Those are not typically the people that you would say, oh my gosh, she's going to rocket at this business. Well, it kind of goes the same with our affiliates. So just be prepared when you are posting the free to a good home post, although that definitely gains a lot of interest. Now there's been kind of this controversy of, is this deceiving? Is it? You know, is it ethical to post this if they're really not getting it for free, that there's always a catch? Now, I mentioned this in our exclusive group the other day. I said, listen, advertising is like this. You guys ever notice this? On commercials, there's always fine print. There's always fine print. I was just at a timeshare resort, you guys. They asked me to breakfast. They wanted me to come to breakfast. I knew it wasn't a free breakfast because they were trying to sell me something. There's always a catch. So I would encourage you guys not to feel bad about that type of advertising because it's how advertising works. The average person with half a brain cell knows that you're not just handing out 40 free mascaras on your, your dime, right? Like you would not be in a good business that way if you were just giving everything away. Most people know that. They know that there's a little catch. So even on my comments, like people were saying like, is there a catch? Like, hmm, how do I get this, you know? And, and as long as you're transparent with them in your message, they're not mad about it. Yes, you're gonna have some people ignore you and maybe go, oh, I knew there was a catch, like I'm not interested or I don't wanna do anything for it. The average person does know to get something free, you have to at least do something, right? Give them an email, give them something, right? Because people don't just give stuff away for free for fun, right? Okay, so, um, but as far as like looking for affiliates, it kind of looks like the same as if you're prospecting people, okay? So when you post those things, the average response is gonna be people that maybe don't already have the money and maybe their network doesn't have the money either or they don't see the value of spending $29 on a mascara, otherwise they probably already would have if they've been wanting to try it. Um, and, and kind of that mentality of people that are just looking for freebies. I learned this a few months ago when we launched our anniversary perfume. You guys remember that stuff? Oh my gosh. I was so excited about that perfume. I can't even tell you. I wanted it on everybody. I never wanted it to go away. I was so excited about it. But from the first perfume launch, I learned my lesson that when I told people I would send them a free sample, 
I got nothing, literally no sales from it, okay? I sent out a ton of samples on my own, you know, my own budget or my own money, got no sales. But when I shifted that and I said, hey, who wants to try a free perfume sample? I'm obsessed, you know, told everybody how much I love that anniversary perfume. I couldn't stop talking about it. And they commented that they wanted it. I sent them a private message and I said, oh my gosh, you're gonna absolutely love this perfume. I'm doing these really fun mystery glam bags this month, they're 35 bucks. It comes with a perfume sample along with some of my favorite products. Watch your email, I'll send you an invoice and get one sent out right away. I sold so many freaking glam bags that month and perfumes when they got their little sample in the mail because there was a little catch to it, but I found that I wasn't get grabbing people that were just looking for a freebie, okay? So there is kind of something to that, that if you can look for people that have the qualities of what you would like, um, you know, if you can kind of create an avatar of your perfect person to post for you on Facebook, we all know those people, right? We know, I think back, like I actually just got an email from a boutique the other day um, asking me if I would rep for some of their clothes. Um, I've done a few videos for Lange. Lange had reached out to me. And I noticed people were forever trying to get Lange's attention, saying, hey, Lange, I want some free stuff. Hey, Lange, can I do videos for you and get some free stuff? But Lange was picking and choosing who they wanted to do their videos for. So I wanna encourage you guys to, yes, try some of those free posts, get some, some people's interest that way, but also take your Facebook friends list and go through and evaluate, who do I really want on my team? Could I start them out as an affiliate? Um, could I get them to fall in love with this business this way? And really prospect your affiliates. Look for people that have a cleaner timeline. Look for people that have a nice profile picture, that have a good amount of Facebook friends, that you know get a decent amount of exposure when they're posting content. Maybe they're funny, maybe they're likable. You know, those are the type of people that if you can go ask them to be affiliates, I can almost guarantee that your links will be that much more successful, okay? Be a little bit picky. Absolutely, so if you, if you treat this as like, you know, come on, come all, everybody can have it, it's gonna feel cheap, right? Which is kind of what I did last week. Like, it was just like, you know, it was a feast, or it was a free for all, right? But now, what if I only specifically have 10 spots per week for my affiliates? And it's kind of something that like you, you have to have qualities to be part of. You know, that maybe people start spreading the word that like, oh my gosh, I get to be her affiliate this week, I feel so special. Then it's gonna have a different feel to it, okay? Um, do I unfriend? No, I don't. I mean, not unless they're <coughs> rude to me or something like that, but no, because honestly, a lot of people that even if they're looking for freebies and stuff, maybe eventually they're willing to, you know, they get some Christmas money or something, <laughs> they'll finally spend it. Um, um, yes, just be a little bit picky. Add everyone that's liking the post. Yes. Yes, I love that, Ashley. If your affiliate has the mascara, ask her to share her own results. And I had a really good um, affiliate last week who was doing that. Like she would post what I asked her to post, but then in the comments she would post her own results and say, girl, you're gonna absolutely love it. You'll never buy another mascara. I love it so much. And she's one of my best customers. So, you know, somebody like her, I would wanna, you know, give her a little bit more because I could tell she was honestly making an effort, okay? So, um, I hope that clears up some of the confusion. I showed you guys my postcards. Um, I definitely recommend the mask. I love giving people a product that's gonna encourage them to come back and buy something else. Um, also, I was at Bath and Body Works last week, you guys, and they had their cute little like fall hand sanitizers for like a buck. So I picked up some of those. Those are fun for either glam bags or you know, hostess thank you packages and all that sort of thing too. Um, so moving right along, <coughs> oh, my mouth is getting dry. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about trip points? Does anybody want to share anything that's worked well for you with these affiliate links? Um, something else that's working for you this month? Um, I know I posted earlier today about two of your affiliates have actually ended up buying the mascara and foundation. Yes. I love that. It says iPhone, so I don't know who said that. But um, I, who is it? Not sure. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, so product tester for the kudos, lash testers. You guys, I finally got my kudos in the mail today. Oh, I guess I held my mail um, while I was out of town and I called the post office today. I was like, where is my stuff? Um, finally, it was delivered. I'm so excited. I literally put the eyeshadow in my hand and I was like, oh, it just stays, but it's so beautiful. I love it so, so much. Um, so also great opportunity for upselling you guys this lash primer. I'm telling you anybody who has your 40, please be telling them about this primer. Um, I kind of feel like it's the 3D all over again, but better because we have 40, we have the primer, you get banging results by layering the two, but it's an upsell. So it's all just freaking amazing. And it's a lot simpler in my opinion. Um, you had to message customer care because your points start going backwards. Yes, it is. I think it's a glitch in the system. A lot of people are having that issue today, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, Amber, it'll be fine. Um, private message people that comment rather than just put your link there. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, that actually, that is another thing. Like my hostesses were po posting their links in the comments, and I will say, like, had I not been on vacation, I don't think I would have done it that way. I was just trying to do what would be like the best for my time. But I found, um, I mean, I don't, I don't, my people don't buy that way. Like I never post my link anywhere ever, ever, ever. So why would I teach my people to do that? Like even if they did sign up, then they'd be blasting their link everywhere. It wouldn't really work out in their favor. So I will say like going forward, um, keeping that link a little bit more private to where they have to show some interest to get access to it would be smart. And then of course you can do free shipping promos and things like that with bulk ordering. Um, glam bags for kudos. Yes, this kudos is perfect for glam bags, you guys. If you're not already doing that, um, it is so, so great. Um, $20 glam bags, $40 glam bags, two full, full size items, one full size item, however you want to break that up. But it's a great month for that. Um, yeah, no one shops my link. I, I literally go to my website and buy for everybody because it's just easier that way. And I like being in control. Um, waterproof Epic with primer. Yes, I did that on vacation. It was so, so good. I'm telling you guys that primer is a game changer. So um, as far as ending the month strong, though, you guys, I am telling you, I have seen some crazy things happen. I have seen blue statuses sell, a, I saw a blue status one month sell $11,000. Uh, she hit green. Um, I, I can't remember if she was earning a trip that month. It was on real. But if you want it bad enough, you can make things happen. You just have to be willing to talk to people. Um, I remember when Megan Dashley, me, Liz Medley, we were all fairly new to the business. And at the time, a friend of ours, well, she wasn't our friend yet. We didn't even know her, but she was on the same team as us. Like her name was emerging all the time on the leaderboards. And there was, they were having this contest, like our upline at the time, who's no longer with the business said, whoever sells, you know, this month, this much in the month or whoever hits number one in sales this month, I'm going to fly her out for have like a spa day of pampering. And we were all like, Oh my gosh. Cause at the time our upline, she was a black status. All of us were new. In my mind, a black status was a millionaire. I thought all black statuses made a million dollars a year. So the idea of getting a day with somebody like that like blew my mind. I was like, so we're all working hard and hustling. Well, all of a sudden, overnight, this girl, Kara, just like emerges out of nowhere. And she's got like $6,000 in sales in one night. And I was like, she bought it. I know she bought it. She had to have cheated. There's no way a person can sell $6,000. Well, like weeks later or something, she did a training on what she did. And she said she literally was up all night messaging every single person she knew, like reaching out like, oh my gosh, I'm in this contest. I'm working so hard. Please, please, please. If there's anything that I can add to your makeup bag, you know, kind of that Cinderella challenge that you guys have heard about, but she wanted it so bad. And I'm telling you guys, she won, but I thought she was superhuman. I was like, how in the world? The girl double promoted to like orange, purple, like it was crazy stuff. Um, she became a black status who consistently maintained. So I'm telling you guys, if you want something bad enough, it's all about how many people you're willing to talk to. So we still have two solid weeks left in September. These affiliate links are popping like crazy. It's a great way to gain exposure in your business. It helps you get that many more people to talk to, right? The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is, um, I love this idea. I talked about this last week. It kind of like blew my mind when I thought about it. Um, 
or when I first heard about it is getting your affiliates to post that free post, right? So at the end of their week, they say free to a good home, like da da da. And then whoever comments on theirs, boom, you've got yourself a whole new list of people that you can book as affiliates for the coming weeks. So again, be prepared. You might have those people that are wanting freebies or whatever, but it's still a great opportunity to expand your network and tap into their networks on top of that. So network marketing is not about who you know. It's about who you're willing to get to know and who the people you know now know. Like you guys all hear about that, like we're seven degrees from Kevin Bacon or something like that. Everybody we know knows somebody who knows, who knows, who knows a really famous celebrity, right? So your perfect prospect may not be within arm's reach, but it's within arm's reach of somebody that you know right now, you know? So the likelihood of meeting the right people in your business with your current circle is very, very small, but it's more about who you're willing to get to know through that circle, okay, by expanding outside of that. So um, triple promote to purple, Olivia, I love it. Yes, I believe it. I see it happening. Does anybody else wanna add anything to that? I hope that was helpful. Um, I will go really quickly over some of my notes. Um, so I do want to share this. If you guys have a pen and paper, I know I was getting some of these questions to, uh, today. So um, I did, I will say this, for my affiliates, the very first day, I sent out 44 private messages. Um, <clears throat> well, more than that, actually. First, I said, here is, here is your custom link. Um, I sent them the link to their party or whatever um, so that they could copy and paste it as they wanted or share it as they needed to. But then on that first day, I said, here is your first post. You can save this picture to your phone, copy and paste the wording for the caption. It will go on your public page. Uh, to maximize how many people see your posts, remember the best time of the day is typically between 7 and 9 p.m. A lot of people are on Facebook at that time. Then simply add your personal shopping link in the comments. Now you can leave that part out if you would like. And then I said, it's super easy. I said, we'll focus on 40 mascara because it is my best seller and most women wear mascara. If you'd like to change the wording to make it sound more like you or you want to add anything, feel free to do so, but it's not required. Here we go. Okay, so that's the first message that I sent to everybody. Um, after that, then I would just, I literally have in my notes on my phone, all these different post ideas. I have nine, um, so I can just kind of change it up as I, as I desire, right? So then I, I would send her her first post. Now that's one thing. I didn't want any directions with the post. I sent those as two separate messages just so they could easily copy and paste. God knows we do not want the nightmare of our affiliates that don't know social media copying the whole thing with all the directions and pasting that on their page, right? Like you don't want to run into that. So I just made sure to like, link is in its own send, okay? Directions, send. Then the exact thing that they're gonna copy, send. Just so, you know, you break that up so that they can easily just copy that single message and paste on their page, okay? Um, so the first message I sent that way. And then on day two, I said, <clears throat> good morning, beautiful ladies. And this is when I added them all to a chat. Now I would say if you guys have like 10 hostesses or, or less or, you know, smaller numbers where you're not trying to juggle all these different people, maybe try the individual messaging. I personally like it better. I feel it's more personal. Um, and then they feel more free to, you know, discuss things openly with you. Um, yes, I can send, or I can, um, I can post this, uh, yeah. The only reason I did it is because I didn't want it to get flagged as like, spam um so just promise me that you guys will kind of make it your own because you know if you copy and paste the same thing too many times okay um so the second actually i could post it in the little no it won't work okay i'll post something like this in lash money so you guys can kind of get an idea okay um so the second thing uh for that second day once i added them i said good morning beautiful ladies First, I just want to thank you so much for being my affiliates of the week. You ladies are the best. I'm so excited to help you earn your free goodies, okay? And then I explained to them why they were in this chat. I said, in order to become more efficient in my business, I'm sending your daily post to copy and paste here. If you have any questions or if you prefer not to be in this chat, just let me know privately and I'll remove you and message you individually. Now, 
some people don't read, right? So some people were leaving the chat. I'm like, whatever, like, bye. Um, <laughs> but honestly, like, it's whatever. I didn't take it personally. It's just what some people do. They don't, they don't want to be in a chat. They don't want their messenger going off because they don't know how to work Facebook, okay? Um, so then I put day one, post one, and then boom, you know, copy and paste. Here it is. And then I, sometimes I would do, since I had so many people in there, I would give them a couple of pictures to choose from and say, you know, pick the one that, you know, jumps out at you. Um, I will, I will say it, it's important, which I wasn't very, you know, conscientious of this last week in, in the future. I think it's a better idea to, you know, try to get some diversity in your posts, you know, women of color, uh, women of different backgrounds, ethnicities, um, just so you're, you know, different age groups. So you're showcasing to all different audiences. Um, cause I noticed most of the ones I had in my phone looked pretty similar, you know, they were like white girls. So, um, I think it's good to kind of show a little bit more diversity so that you're reaching a multitude of audiences too. Okay. Yes. I, you know what? White girls, <laughs> they're all basic white girls with their pumpkin spice lattes. Um, <laughs> yes, you know it. Okay. I'm going to. If I post it here, let's see if I can select all, copy. I might be able to do it. Paste. Did it work? That's a lot of info. Paste. Ah, shoot, it didn't work. Let me try it if I can pull it up in my um, notes. Here we go. White girl, stop hating on the PS. <laughs> girl, it was 90 and sunny today and I spent the day outside. So, time yet. Um, ooh, I was able to post it in my notes on my computer. Let me see if I can get it to cut. <laughs> it's not pasting, I think it's too long. I'll post it in Last Money Millionaires and you guys can kind of grab from it what you will. Of course, you know, as always, make it your own, but but hopefully, I know for me personally, I can draw a picture if you show me the picture first. So I do better if I kind of have a script to go from and then I can, you know, tweak it and make it my own. So hopefully it'll help some of you guys. Yay. So let's crush this month. Two more weeks. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see so many of y'all in the Bahamas. And if I don't see you there, hey, we're, we've, we've got a whole lifetime of trips to earn. We are not stopping here. So hold on. What? Kelly Siebert. What you got? Bahama Mamas. Hold up. Wait a minute. Kelly, you want to say something? I'm about to unmute you, sister. Oh, Hi. Hi. yes. Hi. Go ahead. You look so cute. Okay. So don't yell at me, but I was late because I was in Kelly Rosarno Zoom. Yeah, you traitor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's like, I didn't even know you were here. Um, so she basically said the same thing that I already knew and I wanted to share this golden nugget that she gave me and I was like well that was super smart so she her like opportunity that she sends to her affiliates is it's kind of long it says I'm not sure if you would want to or you'd be interested but you have someone who's ready to order would you be interested in joining? I would rather see you make commissions off of your friends than me. No big deal. If not, I always like to ask before placing the order. That's good. But that Her girls are doing that and they've got, one of the girls got two girls to join today. And I was like, why have I never thought of saying something so simple like that? Right. It is because it's an instant win for them. Right. I mean, I know I'm the type of person I'd be like, well, why should you be making the money off my friends? Yeah. And just like putting it out there and they're probably like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, I and honestly too, I think, I think a lot of it for us is we, we like instant gratification, right? Like you get the sale. Yes. That helps me reach my PRS, da, da, da. but I'll never forget. I had sponsored one of my old best friends from college and she saw how much money she made on a person buying from her versus how much she made when that person was on her team and they bought something. And she was like, well, it makes more sense for me to sell. And I was like, no, you're not seeing the big picture. Like over time, like this is, 
that's what Whitney Husband was talking about in that post the other day. It's, it's that big vision, right? Like you can get people to sign up over time. You're going to have that residual income and you're going to make a lot more money. So it's really a lot of it for us. It's just that mental game of in that moment, instead of thinking about that sale, thinking like, how can I turn this person into a prospect or into a presenter? I know, um, Natalie Jarrett was saying the same thing. Like I had reached out to her cause hers was the first video I saw really floating around teaching about this concept. And she was like, I care less about $7 on a mascara. Like I want to get these people to sign up. So that, that was her ultimate goal with every single person who was on the affiliate links. Um, so thank you for sharing that. It's really good. Let's set up the link to prove that your friends that you would, and you know what? That's the other thing I noticed a ton of my girls were getting that question in the comments. Um, are you selling this now? So you could even take that and go into messenger and say, Hey, I noticed all your friends already think you sell this. Have you ever thought about it? Like, you know, I hadn't even thought about it before, but you'd be really good at it. And really just, you know, that's not threatening at all. I think a lot of times people are afraid to offer the opportunity because it seems kind of scary or pushy or whatever. But if you just put it in a way like, Oh my gosh, I noticed all your friends already think you're doing this with me. And it has me thinking you'd be really good at it. You know, just kind of mentioning it like, like your best friends anyway. Um, totally works. Okay. I love it. Ask your potentials thinking about joining to be an affiliate test from the biz. Yeah. You don't, you don't want them to think it's a trap. I get that. Would you send the message in here, Kelly? Um, yeah, we need all the wording. <laughs> here, I'm gonna do, I might be able to paste. Oh shoot, I just did it wrong. <laughs> I know it's hard when you're um, trying to write while somebody else is talking. Copy. I'm going to see if I can post. Ugh, all of my messages are too long, so I'm going to have to post it separately. Stupid Zoom. See if this is Facebook Live. Oh, there. Okay, so there's the first part of mine. Hopefully, Kelly can paste hers too. And then, second day. Oops. You guys can grab this before we close out the Zoom. Thank you, Kelly. That's perfect. Good deal. You guys rock. Oh my gosh, I love our Zoom. So, so good. Okay, so you guys, two weeks left. Let's do this. What you got? Pull it, pull out all the stops. We can do this. We can crush this. We're back in the mascara business and I've never been more excited. This is duplication at its finest. You guys are going to see a new round of momentum, but it will only happen if you take action. You can get on all the Zoom calls. You can watch all the videos. You can order all the thank you cards. They're cute, you guys, but if you don't do the work, it's not going to do you any good. You're not going to grow your business. So keep crushing it. Keep going after it. Say yes. Tell the world. Figure out the details later. Um, you're not going to have it all, all the answers, but you will learn the most just by simply doing the action. So thank you guys for jumping on tonight. We'll see you next week. Mwah. Oh, wait. I don't want to close out. Does everybody, does everybody <laughs> copy? Did you copy what you needed? I'm going to copy this while I'm in here. I am going to post this in Lash Money just for anybody. Um, I'll post it in the comments of the replay of this Zoom. Does that work for you guys? Okay, perfect. Copied. Over and out. All right, see you guys. Have a good night.